This is video podcast 53 from learningradiology.com, 100 Imaging Signs, Part 1. Hello, I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. In this podcast, we're going to see examples of each of 50 imaging signs. We'll describe the sign, name the sign or descriptive term, and at least one disease in which the finding occurs. As always, pause your computer or MP3 player whenever you wish to look at material for a longer period of time. This is the first sign. What's the name of the sign and what might we see it in? Pause your computer or MP3 player. This is the accordion sign, which is the appearance of oral contrast trapped between colonic folds on CT scan. The folds are thickened by submucosal edema, especially in something like C. difficile colitis, pseudomembranous colitis, although it can be seen in other diseases. What sign is being demonstrated by the infiltrate inside of this red circle? This is an air bronchogram, which are the black branching structures representing air-filled bronchi, which are visible because there is something other than air surrounding them in the air spaces, such as in this case inflammatory exudate in pneumonia. What sign is being demonstrated here? This is the air crescent sign, which is a sickle-shaped lucency, partly surrounding a mass in a pulmonary cavity, seen on chest x-ray or CT. Classically, it's seen with aspergillomas. What is the name of this pattern? This is an angel wing or bat wing pattern, which is characteristic of pulmonary edema, which tends to involve the perihilar regions and spare the cortices, the outer aspects of the lung. What sign is being pointed to here? That's the aortic nipple, which represents a persistent left superior intercostal vein as it wraps around the outer edge of the aorta. It is usually a normal finding. What sign is demonstrated here? That is snow capping, which is the dense appearance of the humeral head from avascular necrosis, thought to resemble snow on a mountaintop. Possible causes include steroid administration or sickle cell disease. What sign is being demonstrated here? This is the bamboo spine, which is the undulating contour of the spine caused by bridging syndesmophytes, usually seen in ankylosing spondylitis. What sign is demonstrated here? That's the beveled edge sign, which is the asymmetric erosion of the inner and outer tables of the skull, usually seen with the eosinophilic granuloma. What sign is seen here? This is the upside-down stomach, which represents organoaxial gastric volvulus, in which the greater curvature rotates superiorly and the lesser curvature inferiorly. What sign is being demonstrated here in this rare and unusual disease? That's the black pleural line, which is the paradoxical appearance of the pleura in pulmonary microlithiasis because of the innumerable dense calcifications which are present in the lung in that disease. What sign is this? This is the blade of grass sign, also called the flame sign, which is the advancing wedge-shaped osteolytic margin of active Paget's disease of bone. It's usually seen in the diaphysis as it is in the femur in this individual. What sign is demonstrated here? This is a bone within a bone, which is an inner layer of cortical new bone within an existing bone. It can be seen with osteopetrosis and sickle cell disease. In this case, these are ghost vertebra, which are seen with thoracrest injections in childhood here. The red circle is demonstrating the dense contrast-filled abdominal lymph nodes, which still contain the thoracrest. What sign is this? 
This is the boot-shaped heart, the shape of the heart in Tetralogy of Fallot, usually, due to an upturned apex from right ventricular hypertrophy and a concave pulmonary artery segment. What sign is demonstrated inside of the red circle? This is the tree and bud pattern, a bronchial filled with fluid, pus, or the like, resembling a branching tree with buds. It's seen in airway disease and is relatively common in endobronchial spread of infections such as tuberculosis. What sign is this? It's a tailor beak, which is that upward bony projection from the anterosuperior aspect of the talus that can be associated with tarsal coalition. What sign is demonstrated here? The dripping candle wax sign, which is cortical hyperostosis, usually on one side of the bone, which was likened to melting wax, seen in melariostosis. What's the name of this sign? It's the cluster of grape sign, multiple gas-containing cysts, most frequently in a segment of left colonic wall in pneumatosis cystoides intestinalis. What sign is being demonstrated here? This is a Codman's triangle, which is that triangular elevation of periosteum from an aggressive, usually malignant, bone tumor, such as an osteosarcoma. What is the name of this sign? This is the kidney bean sign, also known as the coffee bean sign, which is the shape of the grossly dilated, rounded sigmoid colon in a sigmoid volvulus. What sign is this in which there's a dilated transverse colon? This is the colon cutoff sign, which is a dilated transverse colon, usually to the point of the splenic flexure associated with pancreatitis, ischemic colitis, or an obstructing lesion of the left colon. What is the name of this sign? This is the comet tail sign, which is from a focal area of collapsed lung adjacent to an area of pleural thickening with subsequent distortion of the blood vessels. It's seen in rounded atelectasis, which is most often due to asbestos-related pleural disease. The red arrow is pointing to what sign here? This is the continuous diaphragm sign, which is the visualization of the entire upper surface of the diaphragm from a pneumomediastinum. What sign is this? This is the corduroy sign, which are the vertically oriented thickened trabeculae seen in hemangiomas of vertebral bodies. What sign is demonstrated here? This is a corkscrew esophagus, which is the constricted, twisted lumen usually seen in diffuse esophageal spasm from abnormal tertiary contractions. What is the name of this pattern? This is the cotton wool appearance, islands of poorly marginated sclerotic bone surrounded by less dense skull in Paget's disease. What is the name of this appearance? This is crazy paving, a fine reticular pattern superimposed on areas of ground glass opacity seen on high resolution CT of the chest and first described with alveolar proteinosis, although it is seen with other diseases. What sign is being demonstrated here? This is the deep sulcus sign, which is the inferiorly depressed costophrenic angle from a pneumothorax seen on a supine radiograph of the chest. What is the name of this sign? This is the dense hilum sign, which is the appearance of the hilum, which is neither enlarged itself nor calcified, implying there is something superimposed on it in the lung. What is the name of this sign? 
This is the dense middle cerebral artery sign, which is a relatively early CT sign, less than six hours, of an ischemic stroke seen with thrombosis of the middle cerebral artery. False positive findings may occur. What is the name of this sign? This is the double bubble sign, representing a dilated stomach, the blue arrow, and the proximal duodenum, the red arrow, in a newborn, typically seen in duodenal atresia, midgut volvulus, or annular pancreas. What is the name given to the appearance of these lymph nodes? This is eggshell calcification, peripheral calcification of thoracic lymph nodes, most often seen in silicosis, but also sarcoid and occasionally post-X-ray therapy. What is the name of this sign? This is the falciform ligament sign, which is visualization of the usually invisible falciform ligament along the anterior edge of the liver from air surrounding it, as in pneumoperitoneum. What is the name of this sign? This is the posterior fat pad sign, which is that posterior crescentric lucency seen at the posterior distal aspect of the humerus from fat, which is being displaced by fluid in the elbow joint, most often associated with a fracture around the elbow joint. What is the name given to this sign? These are H-shaped vertebra, sometimes called Lincoln log vertebra, which are central depressions in the vertebral end plates caused by avascular necrosis, such as might be seen with sickle cell disease. What is the name of this sign? It's the goblet sign, which is a dilated cup shape of the ureter distal to an intraluminal filling defect, such as a transitional cell carcinoma, seen best on retrograde studies such as this. What is the name of this sign? This is Golden's S sign, or the reverse S sign of Golden, which is an S shape caused by elevation of the minor fissure, the red arrow, and a hilar mass, the yellow arrow, producing right upper lobe atelectasis. What is the name of that deformity? This is Haglund's deformity, which is prominence of the posterior superior calcaneal tuberosity seen mostly in females, presumably from pressure by shoes. What is this called? This is the hair on end appearance, which is the spiculated appearance of elongated trabeculae in a widened diploic space seen in hemolytic anemias, especially thalassemia, but also sickle cell disease. What is the name of that line? That's Hampton's line, a thin line seen in profile at the neck of a gastric ulcer, representing the thin rim of undermined gastromucosa and representing a benign gastric ulcer. What is the name of that density associated with what the yellow arrow is pointing to? That's a Hampton's hump, a wedge-shaped density at the periphery of the lung described as a sign of pulmonary infarction. The yellow arrow is pointing to a thrombus. What is the name given to this abnormal appearance of the small bowel? This is the hide bound appearance, which is narrow separation between normal thickness valvuli despite the presence of luminal dilatation and is characteristic of scleroderma. What is the name given to that deformity? That is a hill sachs deformity, which is a fracture of the posterior and lateral portion of the humeral head from an anterior shoulder dislocation. What is the name given to this sign? 
This is the hilum overlay sign, which can help to differentiate a large pulmonary artery from a hilar mass on a chest x-ray. The mass, as in this case, will superimpose on the underlying pulmonary vessels and indicate that the mass actually is not a large pulmonary artery. What is the name of this sign on this nuclear medicine bone scan? This is the Honda sign, which is the characteristic H shape similar to the car maker's logo of bone radio tracer uptake in the sacrum due to sacral insufficiency fractures. What is the name given to this sign? This is the incomplete fissure sign, which is a concave edge produced by pleural fluid abutting an incomplete major fissure. It's usually seen on the right side. What is the name given to this pattern? This is honeycombing, the cluster of thick walled cystic spaces representing dilated and thickened bronchial walls. It can be seen in many diseases including bronchiectasis, cystic fibrosis, and eosinophilic granuloma of lung. What is the name given to this sign? This is the incomplete rim sign, a partly sharply marginated, partly indistinct mass from its projection into an airfield structure, such as the lung, or the atmosphere. In this case, this was a large mole on the patient's skin. What is the name of this pattern? This is the inside-out sign which is inversion of portal flow that produces an inside-out enhancement of the liver in which the periphery is hypodense early. Then enhancement will equilibrate the entire liver and is secondary to hepatic vein occlusion. What is the name of this sign? This is an ivory vertebra, dense white vertebral body or bodies, essentially of normal shape, most often from osteoblastic prostate or breast carcinoma mets or Paget's disease. Finally, what's the name of this appearance? This is a jackstone calculus, a bladder stone with jagged irregular margins indicating its formation in a trabeculated bladder. It comes from the ball and jack scheme. At the next podcast, video podcast 54, we'll have 50 more imaging signs. Meanwhile, you can receive the description of an imaging sign every weekday by signing up for a daily tweet at twitter.com.